Hi and welcome back to The Cottage everyone. We're so glad you're joining us here again today. We have been sharing bits and pieces about our cottage home here on our channel and throughout the different videos we've been getting different questions about some of the items that we have incorporated into our home. So we thought it would be fun today to share with you some of the stories behind these special items and give you a little bit more insight into why we chose to incorporate them into our new build. The items that we get asked questions about the most often in our cottage are probably the vintage sinks. We have one in the kitchen and also in the powder room and they are true vintage sinks, they're not reproductions. And they actually came from Craig's grandparents' farmstead. They moved in um, with their family in the 60s and sometime a few years later they did a kitchen remodel. And the sinks were then brought out into the woods and kind of left out there because they weren't needed anymore. And it wasn't until years later that we, um, they were kind of clearing out the woods and we discovered these sinks and we asked if they could hold on to them a bit longer so that we could use them in our future build. My mom even remembers doing dishes at the farmhouse kitchen sink. And if you'd like to know more about these sinks, I have done a couple videos with both of them when I restored them. So I go into more detail there. You can check those videos out. Yep, they had some wear and tear, but he, he got it taken care of and they've held up really well. So we love our sinks. I also restored the vintage metal bed frames in our girls' bedroom. And these aren't family heirlooms or anything like that, but they did come from a friend who um, had some bed frames in her barn actually, and then she wasn't using them. And once again, Craig came to the rescue and put hours and hours of work into these beds. And so if you'd like to check out videos about those, they are also on his personal channel and I will link them below and add a card for that as well. As you are aware, our site that our house is built on is very heavily wooded. And so before we built the house itself, we needed to clear some of these large oak trees. And we were really sad about that. And we wanted to find a way to make this wood useful. And so we actually were able to find somebody locally that was able to harvest the trees and kiln dry them. And from that, we were able to get this beautiful mantle that is um, behind us here and then also our dining room table the person that um, harvested the trees actually made this tabletop we have plans eventually when you know when there's time because it's hard to find time when you've got five kids but to make the base of the table from this wood as well so it's really special to us to have that wood that was harvested from our site and now is useful items within our house Another thing people have pointed out is our vintage refrigerator in the basement, kind of by our coffee area. This is something when we were relatively newly married, we ended up picking up at our garage sale, just mainly because we thought it was the coolest little fridge ever. Yeah, it's cute. And I have already refinished it once, um, and it's made its trip with us back to three houses. Actually, when we sold our second house, we left it there. And then later on, those people were gonna throw it out, so they came back to us and asked us, asked us if we wanted it back and we're like yeah I will take it back yeah. it's perfect and so I do need to finish it refinish it again because it does it is um, kind of wearing out a little bit but it's a general motors believe it or not refrigerator and we just we just love that little thing yeah it's really cute and I had never heard of a general motors brand of fridge do you think about like general electric but this was like even earlier than that I'm not even sure the year on it but it's pretty cool yeah I have mentioned the dresser that we have in the boys' room and how special that is to us as well. This was a piece that was in my grandparents' home. And I remember as a little girl, anytime we'd go to visit, the bedroom that we slept in had this dresser and it had a mirror above it. And I remember um, playing dress up and looking in this mirror and getting ready in the mornings, standing at this dresser. And so when we were getting ready to build our house, I asked my grandma if we could have this, actually I offered to buy it from her and she said she would be honored if we would, we would just have it. And so it's very special to us to have this piece. It is a true mid-century modern piece from the 50s and it just serves its purpose very well and it's a very beautiful piece. You may have noticed in the boys' bedroom tour video, the wood walls. And these were actually constructed out of wood that was your parents had kind of a shed, which I guess was like a summer kitchen on their property. And when they tore it down, um, 
we asked if we could have the wood and we sanded it up really nice and we're able to repurpose it in our bedroom and it just adds kind of a nice little accent feature. Um, it's not too heavy because they have a lot of white in there and it's just kind of cool to look at it and remember that building that was on their property. When we go in to say goodnight to them at bedtime, I'll find myself just looking at the different patterns in the wood. I mean, it's so varied and it's mm -hmm. just so unique. It's beautiful. Yeah. The closet doors in the girls' bedroom are actually pieces that we have been holding on for a lot of years. When we bought our first house, it was a small farmhouse kind of on the outskirts of town, and there was a big shed on the property that was full of just random things, mostly corn cobs, if I remember. It had a lot of corn cobs. Yeah. But we found a few treasures in there, and one of the things that we found were, was a set of doors. And I just knew someday I wanted to incorporate that into whatever house we built, and so we've carried them with us from house to house, and are pleased that now they have a final spot to rest in our girls' bedroom. So another very special piece to our house is the French doors separating our dining room from our mud room area and our bedroom back there. And these are special, especially to me, because these were probably my grandma's favorite thing about their house. She just loved those French doors. And she basically, specifically asked us to, to take them. Um, and so we, we definitely found a way and spent a lot of time trying to incorporate them into this new design because we knew how special they were. We do have plans eventually to possibly refinish them, maybe sand them down and make them a stain color that's a little bit more cohesive with the rest of our home, but we're happy that they are incorporated into our house and every time I see them, I think about your grandparents and your grandparents were pretty special. Very much so, in fact, I mean, I know everybody thinks that their grandparents are the best, but I just want to tell you that you're wrong, that my grandparents are the best. So, sorry. <laughs> this antique sewing cabinet was one that was my great grandma's and it was in a farmhouse in North Dakota and my aunt, the house had kind of been falling down and my aunt went there to kind of retrieve some things and she found this sewing cabinet and she kind of asked around to see if anyone was interested in it and nobody really was. And so through the line, it kind of got passed down to me and I just love the piece. The patina on it is beautiful. It has all this tiger wood kind of pattern to it. And I just, I love the story behind it. Just the fact that it was one of my ancestors and it was out of this quaint little farmhouse that it's kind of such a beautiful piece to be found in such a quaint farmhouse. But my mom does remember it as well. And it's just a really special piece that we have here at the cottage. The last thing we want to talk about today are the cabinets that flank the opening between the kitchen and the living room space. And these cabinets also get a lot of questions and comments from you viewers. They were actually found at an antique store nearby in a town nearby. And this store was just packed full of just things. And I usually don't like to go into antique stores like that. It just makes me a little bit claustrophobic. But I just felt like this urge to kind of keep pressing on. So I went through and kind of wading through all of the various items. And in the far back corner, I saw a glimpse of these cabinets. And I asked the shopkeeper to kind of move some things around so I could get a better look at them. And um, I just fell in love right then and there. And so I snapped a picture of them, texted it to Craig, and I asked if I could buy them and if he thought they would be something that we could use. And he's like, sure, whatever. He usually doesn't put up too much of a fuss with it. My father-in-law and I go to this antique store expecting to pick up these shelves that from the pictures look like they were in pretty decent shape. And I'm telling you, as we're carrying these things out, pieces are just falling off of these cabinets and they are just in rough shape to the point where we kind of were hoping as we were driving them back to our house that maybe one or two of them would just fall off the back of the pickup and we wouldn't have to worry about it because I was thinking, what are we gonna do with these things? These things are just junk. So yeah, they sat they sat in our garage, then they, they pulled them into the garage, they set them there, and Craig, I think, had kind of just sworn them off. He's like, I'm not dealing with it, that's your, that's your problem. They sat there for a while, and after a while, I guess he just decided he wanted a project, so he started refinishing it, and in turn, he kind of fell in love with them, I guess. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, and now I walk by them every single day, and just, I, I, I do, she's right. I, I love these pieces, and part of it is, is because of the work you put into something to get the outcome that you desire. And it was it was a hard work. It was a lot of sanding and a lot of gluing. And we even had to make up some pieces because some things were broken and everything. Um, but they turned out 
fabulous, I think, mm -hmm. anyway, and they fit in this house so well. Yeah. Um, I yeah. guess I wouldn't, couldn't imagine this house without them now. No, they are definitely a future piece in our home. Because this is a new home, we feel very fortunate that we were able to incorporate all of these special pieces. I think it just adds so much more character and charm and kind of gives us a sense of belonging here in this space just to have all of those special items surrounding us, not only in furniture pieces, but also items that are actually built into the house itself. And we definitely have plans in the future to add more character and charm throughout the different throughout the year. So we hope you'll stick around for all of that. If minimalism and simple living and simple house is something that's interesting to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. I will have a list of all of the videos that we've done regarding any of the items we talked about today, like the sinks, the, the refinishing of the sinks and the cabinets. Those videos will be linked down below for you to check out. If any of the pieces were especially interesting to you or you like the backstory of them, be sure to comment and we'd love to kind of chat about that down below. And thanks so much for watching today. We hope you'll stop by the cottage again really soon. Hola. And other Spanish things. <laughs> Spanish things. Do you know any other Spanish things? Who know? I prefer German.